Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back again with another video. Thank you for joining in. Glad to have you here, whether it's your first or 500th video. Welcome back. Please give a like to the video. It helps the algo. Three rules of accounting. This is going to help you out uh, more so, yeah, if you're, if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about the double entry accounting system, these three rules will very, very much help you out. Rule number one, debits on the left, credits on the right. That is a steadfast rule that is never, ever, ever going to change. Debits on the left, credits on the right. Never going to be different than that. That is a steadfast rule. You might want to write that down on your paper. I would say write, write rules down on a scratch piece of paper every day. And then when you're taking a test, you'll, you'll remember it. Debits on the left, credits on the right. That never, ever, ever changes. Rule number two. Rule number two. Debits equal credits. That is also a steadfast rule that is never ever 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 going to change in the double entry accounting system uh, it's been that way for 500 years the world over i don't think it's ever going to change debits equal credits meaning if your debit is three hundred dollars your credit has to be three hundred dollars if your credit is five hundred dollars your debit has to be $500. They always, always, always have to equal. You can have uh, multiple, you can have multiple different debits. You can have five or six different debits, but they equal, if they, they, if the debits equal a thousand, then you can have one credit that equals a thousand. Uh, for debits, a $200 car expense, a uh, $300 rent expense, $500 telephone expense. So those would be three three debits that equal $1,000. And then you could have uh, one credit, you know, being cash, equal $1,000. But debits always, 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 always equal credits. That'll never change. Rule number three. Now this isn't so much a rule, it is a mind frame, but I want to keep with the three rules just to keep a nice title. A debit, a debit is not good or bad, it just is. A credit is not good or bad, it just is. Now this one, once you get that in your mind, things will be so much easier. That It really helped me on my journey. Because when I started, I took preconceived notions from other places, and I thought, Hey, a credit, uh, for some reason I thought a credit was good, and then I knew that um, you credited a revenue or income, so I said, well, that's good. But then it's also a liability is a credit, so that's bad. So I was like, uh, and then an asset is a debit, and I thought that that was, you know, assets were good, but so I was very confused and what I've come after doing this for after doing accounting and uh, teaching accounting for about 15 years now I've come to the conclusion that uh, debits and credits are they just are they're not good or bad now I have a fourth it's not really a rule uh, I have a fourth a little bonus a little bonus what is the bonus a little bonus is Forget about other things like banks or tax returns that use debits and credits. That's going to trip you up as well. Uh, leave all those preconceived notions out what a, what a debit or a credit is on your bank statement. Because that's not the same as... We're, we're doing the double entry accounting system here. We're doing accounting. Accounting fundamentals. And that is not the same as what your bank calls a debit or credit. Similarly, um, I'm a real estate agent too. They call me two licenses. <laughs> no one calls me that. Anyways, uh, I have a real estate license as well as a CPA license. And they have debits and credits 
on a sales contract as well. It's not the same as a double entry accounting system. Uh, there's credits on tax returns. That's not the same as a double entry accounting system. I hope this video helps helps you out and thank you for joining in, tuning in, and until the next one, CPA Strength, I'm out.